Today in WWE 2K23, I am taking the best wrestler from every single era and putting them into a single elimination tournament to find out who the greatest of all time is. First matchup is what I want to call the before era and Bruno San Martino versus the new era, Roman Reigns. Then we have the new generation era and Bret the Hitman Hart versus the reality era and Brock Lesnar. Then representing the attitude era is Stone Cold Steve Austin versus the PG era, John Cena. And last but not least, the golden era and Hulk Hogan versus Ruthless Aggression and The Undertaker. And the first match we're jumping into is Bruno San Martino versus the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. And here is Bruno San Martino. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know much about Bruno, but I do know a lot about this man. The Tribal Chief recently crossed 1,000 days as champion, Roman Reigns. Here we go. First match of the tournament. Who's gonna be walking away as the GOAT of WWE history? The winner of all the eras combined. Who will it be? Make your predictions in the comments down below. And Bruno winding up for an uppercut that drops the Tribal Chief. We got a submission maneuver from Bruno San Martino, but Roman easily going to power out of that one. I'd be very surprised to see Roman Reigns get eliminated. Roman wants Bruno to get up. He just picked Bruno up all the way down from the canvas and put him into a huge power bomb. Roman Reigns is not messing around in this tournament at all. And he's going to do it again. Another power bomb to Bruno. Now Bruno's got Roman up and he's got him down. He's going for a pin. One, two, Roman, two count. Pretty surprised about that. Reigns wants the spear. It's time. He wants to end this match. He wants to send Bruno home early. Spear by the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Bruno is down. One, two, and he used resiliency to kick out. Match finally finds his way back inside the ring, and Bruno's looking to pick up some momentum. He doesn't want to be out of this tournament just yet. But Roman has a Superman punch. He has a spear, but Bruno also has his finisher. Roman's had enough of this now. Spear could be coming again. Bruno needs to counter if he wants to stay in this tournament. He doesn't. Spear by Roman. Good night, Bruno. Good showing. One, two. He kicked out. I know Roman can't believe this. He's going to try to make Bruno tap out now. He was trying to take it easy on him. And Bruno San Martino taps out to Roman. And now let's go to the bottom of the bracket for Hogan versus Taker. And here's Hulkamania. I would say the man who put wrestling on the map has a good chance to win this tournament. The man who dominated WWE for 30 years, The Undertaker. If you know anything about Undertaker and Hulk Hogan, they are not the best of friends, I would say. So there's not gonna be any pulled punches in this match, but Hogan's looking to end it early. Two count on Taker, very surprised about that. But Undertaker now, he's battling back. Best pair striker in all of WWE history. Michael Cole said it forever. He'll continue to say it. And Hogan with the counter and slams Undertaker down head first. And a big move from Hogan gets him his finisher. He's going to have a signature leg drop right now. But Undertaker decides it's not time for that yet. Finally trying to get some offense in. They both run into each other. Undertaker going to throw Hogan into the corner and a clothesline for the dead man. Taker could be looking for the choke slam any moment now. Or it could be the last ride. Hogan up for the last ride. And Undertaker sends him down to the canvas. Will we see a pin? Oh, it's an inside cradle. The most electric move in sports entertainment. And it's a kick out by Undertaker. Is he going to go for the Hogan leg drop? It connects on Undertaker. Will Undertaker be leaving this tournament in round one, two, and Undertaker kicks out. Both men still have finishers. Hogan has one. Undertaker's busted open. Undertaker just trying to get to the ropes here. He doesn't want to leave this tournament. Hogan is on the verge of going to the next round. If he gets another finisher, Undertaker's going to be in a very bad spot. Here he goes. Hogan going for a second leg drop. It connects. Undertaker. Can he kick out of two? Hogan. Leg drops. Feet on the rope. Undertaker's gone. Hulk Hogan moves on in the tournament. Now let's jump into Bret Hart versus Brock Lesnar. And here comes the Hitman. Bret the Hitman Hart is ready to go. But is he truly ready to compete with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar? What a dream match this would have been. Bret Hart versus Brock Lesnar would have been an absolute clinic of athletic ability, wrestling technique, power. Let's see who comes out on top. Will it be Bret? Will it be Brock? Who will be moving on to round number two to face Roman Reigns? I really don't want to watch another Brock versus Roman matchup, but 
We will see if Brock wins. That's what we're getting. But now outside the ring, the Beast. He's got Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett the Hitman Hart is taking a lot of damage. And outside the ring, Brock Lesnar. I thought he was about to get DDT'd, but he counters Brett the Hitman Hart. And Brock finally starting to get some offense in with rights and lefts and right hands to the face of Brett the Hitman Hart. And I don't know what Brett was looking for there. Brett's got a signature. He could be looking for a pile driver here. And he is. It connects to Brock Lesnar. Is he going to go for the sharpshooter? Not yet. Pin. One. Two. And a kick out by Brock. And now Brett's got to find a way to lock in the sharpshooter. He is officially locked it in. Will Brock Lesnar tap out in round one of this tournament? The legs of Brock Lesnar. The lower body area of Brock Lesnar must be feeling this right now. But he's able to power through. Both men have their finisher. Who will connect first? Is Brock going to go for an F5? No, he won't. Sending Brett into the ropes. He's got him up, but he's got him down. It could be F5 time. It could be F5 time. Bret Hart's never felt the F5 from the beast, but now he has. Bret Hart has been planted. One, two, and he kicks out at two. And here we go. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter again to Brock Lesnar. Will he tap this time? Two sharpshooters. Brock Lesnar taps out to Bret Hart. And the Hitman is moving on to round two. And I saved the best round one matchup for the end. Stone Cold versus John Cena. But if you want to talk about a dream match, there's none bigger than Austin versus Cena. Cena pulling out the towel. Never give up. Who's winning Attitude Era or PG Era here? Here we go. Austin, Cena. Probably my top dream match of all time. I wish this could have happened at some point. Definitely in the top three of, I would say, most people's list. And Austin getting started offensively now austin what's he looking to do here ringing john cena up in the corner and then tossing him across the ring and now he's looking for something oh this is vintage austin elbow to the face of cena to the corner goes john austin's been dominating no offensive moves for cena so far knees to the chest knees to the stomach of cena and now austin going for a cover that's disrespectful two if he would have got three counts. Austin, I didn't even realize already has a stunner. Stunner to Cena. This match just started. And Cena has been stunned. One, two. And he kicks out at two. I cannot believe the start for Austin. And Cena now finally getting that offense in that he needs. What a power bomb. He's already been hit by one of Stone Cold's finishers. One of Stone Cold's stunners. Cena. And just like that, an attitude adjustment. On cue. Austin, will he be out of the tournament too? Kicks out at two. Ref is at a six count inside the ring. Cena's driven into the barricade. Count is at seven. Austin can just chill in the ring. And he gets Cena counted out. He would win. We're at an eight count. Cena, you gotta get in the ring. Nine count. Cena's not gonna get up. Austin is going to win by a count out. You can't make this up. This is how the stream match ends. Stone Cold's moving on. Round two will start with Reigns versus Bret Hart. Roman Reigns in the final four. Will he win this tournament? But not if Bret Hart has anything to say about it. He wants to end Roman's tournament right now. This tournament is just filled with dream matches as we expected. When you take wrestlers from the best eras of all time, they're going to be spaced out here where you don't have them all face each other at some point throughout history. And we have another one here in Reigns and Brett. Let me know in the comments down below though, really quick. Give me your biggest dream matches and some of them with the top likes in the comments down below. I will make a video about dream matches and I will feature some of them in that video. And Roman off to a good start already. I don't think Brett's got an offensive move in. Huge power bomb sits into the pin and a kick out at one by the Hitman. And now left Left hands from Reigns. Brett yet to get a move in, but we saw with Stone Cold and John Cena. Cena responded pretty quickly and then wound up getting counted out. And we have a sharpshooter. Where did this come from? Sharpshooter from Bret Hart. Will he make Roman Reigns tap out like he did to Brock Lesnar? No, not yet. It might take two like it did to Brock because it's way too early in this match for Roman to tap out. That sharpshooter, though, helped out Bret's chances a ton because he was getting dominated in this match. And now Roman Reigns is taking a good amount of damage. A lot of counters going on. A lot of ugly wrestling. What were the last few moves right there? Both men just missing with moves, jumping at each other, missing. And now... Brett's got to be careful, though, because Roman does have a Superman punch at any moment he can hit it. Here it comes. Reigns. Superman punch. And it looks like he's setting him up for the spear combo as well. Spear to Brett the Hitman Hart. This one could be over. One, two, and a kick out by Brett. Roman, he wants to send Brett Hart home. 
And he might if he connects with Superman Punch. Down goes Brett the Hitman Heart. Is it over? One, two, three. Roman's going to the finals. Why am I not surprised? Let's see who will meet Roman in the finals. It's Austin versus Hogan. Here is Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's two matches away from being this tournament's champion. Hulk Hogan has a say about that. This is another dream match we might have gotten at WrestleMania 18, but instead we got Rock versus Hogan. And here we go. Austin Hogan. Like I said, we could have got this match at WrestleMania 18. I forget exactly why it didn't happen. Instead, we got Hogan versus Rock, which is an excellent match. One of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time, which obviously was unfortunate. I do believe, though, they fought on Raw in a tag team match before WrestleMania 18. I think it was Austin and Rock versus the NWO, and a DDT from Austin gonna drop the Hulkster. Outside the ring, Austin's taking control of this match. Wait, I spoke too soon because Hogan right there Sends him over the top and drops him down to the mat. But then Austin, okay, we're going back and forth here. Tell me Hogan's going to fly. Oh, he's just taunting him. I thought Hogan was looking to fly. Maybe he is. Hogan is looking to fly. I had a feeling he was, but then I thought he was just taunting Austin. Flies to the outside. And now Hogan loading Stone Cold up on the barricade. Hogan already has a finisher. Body slam to Stone Cold. Into the leg drop. Will this... Oh, Stone Cold with the counter. And he's stolen Hogan's finisher. Will we see a stunner? Will we see a stunner? Stunner! Stunner to Hogan! Is Hogan going home after a huge counter by Austin? Two! And a rope break by the Hulkster. Will we see another stunner? Stunner to Hogan again. Good night, Hogan. This one's got to be done. One, two. And he kicked out, I believe, with resiliency to stay alive. Will Austin go to end it? Stunner. Third stunner of the match. Will this be it? Is Hogan done in the tournament? Austin, will he go for the cover? He will. Will he get the three count? One, two. And he puts the Hulkster away. And we have Austin Reigns in the finals. And now it's Reigns and Austin to see who wins. Let's see if Reigns will claim his WWE Championship back. Because he hasn't even lost it yet in real WWE. But Austin wants none of that. He wants the championship. And he wants Roman Reigns. Here we go. Roman Austin. Winner wins the tournament. Wins the WWE title. And who will it be? Austin might have slight early control right here. Looks like a little bit of a spine buster to Reigns. Now working on the knee of Roman Reigns. This is going to be a super tight finals. Austin going for a power bomb? Power bomb from Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he's looking for a pain. Trying to disrespect Roman here at WrestleMania. And he kicks out at one. Now we're outside the ring. Austin looking to take control. Slamming Reigns face first into the steel post. A count out would win it here, by the way. We're in a tournament. So you seen John Cena get counted out. You can see Roman get counted out right here. The count of six. That would be a crazy way to end this tournament. I hope it doesn't end in a count out, but you never know. Roman, count of seven. He throws Austin back in, and we won't see a count out, thankfully. Right hand after right hand after right hand to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Will it be Superman punch time? No, it's cover time. One. Two, and a kick out by Austin. And here we go. Reigns has Austin in a submission maneuver, which gives him his finisher. But he might not need to use it if Austin taps out, but he won't tap out. And now Reigns, stunner, stunner to Roman Reigns. Is Austin going to win the tournament? Two, and a kick out by Reigns. So called. Could he go for the stunner? Stunner again, Reigns. Another stunner to the tribal chief. This could be it. This could be the win for Austin. One, two, and he kicks out now using resiliency. But Roman is looking to hit a spear. He's trying to flip the script. He wants to win. It's countered by Austin right into a cover. What? What's with the slow count and a rope break? Austin has countered Reigns' his finisher twice. Another stunner. Good night, Reigns. Austin just needs to cover Roman Reigns, and he will win the WWE title and the tournament. There's no way he's kicking out. Two, three. Stone Cold Steve Austin has won the tournament, the GOAT tournament of every single era. Stone Cold Steve Austin is WWE champion. Once again, Roman Reigns has been knocked off 
He's been pinned. He has been beaten. And Austin is the new champ. And if you all enjoyed that video, I am confident that you will like either of these two videos down below. And make sure to subscribe for more content.